This is gonna be good. Lights, folks, gotta get good lighting. This is gonna go here. Oh, I'm excited to tell you guys about this new release. It's from Axial. It's a new SCX24 and wait for it, it comes with Proline tires and oil-filled shocks and has a licensed hard body. Here it is, a 1940s Dodge Power Wagon. Just take it in, guys. How cool does this thing look? It's available in this orange. They've got a green version and it's completely ready to run. Let's pop the box top here and just I'll show you quickly what it comes with. There is the assembled truck. That's pretty awesome. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Here's the bag with your manual and the AA batteries and check out the new charger that they have for it. It's a little Spectrum USB-C charger and uh, they give you the USB adapter. In the bottom of the box, there is the Spectrum radio system. So it's an SLT2 radio. And then they give you some of the accessories, which is absolutely awesome. But first up, here's the Allen wrench and shock preload clips so in case you need those. And here are the accessories. So it's got the bed cage in there and all the hardware and then the sleeper top and sand ramps, the jack, shovels, and again, all the hardware that you're going to need to install this stuff. You know what? Let me go throw this on so we can see how it looks. A custom licensed Dodge Power Wagon Overland vehicle. Nice job, Axial. This thing looks really good. Love the orange paint job. This is paint. I saw the overspray on the underside of it. The fender flares and step sides are painted black. Clear windows, absolutely love that. The mirrors actually fold over on the side. So if you roll this thing, you don't have to worry about those breaking off. Wipers, LED lights in the light buckets up front, turn signals that are just painted, door handles, and it even has a full interior with a driver and a co-pilot. And then check this out. This is kind of odd. The tailgate drops down, which you think is kind of cool, but the bed doesn't really drop down too far. So I don't know, I guess if you're storing some toothpicks in the back, that would work out. But nonetheless, uh, they gave us a little bit of extra detail and I do appreciate that, like the rear bumper. And then the license plate actually comes out. There's a clip holding it in. And once you remove that, you can put a trailer hitch in, which is very cool. Love the large front bumper, and I didn't screw this body back on just so I could take it off. We could check out the underside of it. There's the interior, and then the long wire for the LED lights. Now, this is an SCX24 long wheelbase chassis. It's metal frame rails and the usual shock tower setup. They did give us inner fender liners with this. Absolutely love that. Battery mounts out in the back. And let's talk about the suspension next because they made a major change here, uh, and it's something that we've wanted. They've given us oil filled shocks <laughs> look at that so much smoother nicer operation and what i notice is they actually have two different springs on here there is a red spring in the front green spring in the rear so they did some tuning here they didn't just slap some springs on awesome job there actually i love that they are a plastic link so there's some flex to those the other welcome change is obviously these proline super swamper tires foam inserts in them and uh, they are a beadlock style wheel i really like that they finally gave us some proline tires a lot of people have been begging for that and they delivered the drivetrain remains the same they've got the center mounted gearbox with the slider drive shafts going down to the worm gear axles there's ball bearings and everything and metal gears for those worm gears and then finally we just have the electronics which is stuff that we've kind of seen before it's the as1 servo up front plastic steering links it's got the spectrum 2 in 1 10 amp speed controller receiver combo it's got an on off switch and you go plug your battery into the red port there and the 050 motor which is kind of small for this and then they swapped out the label on this battery pack so it's now a spectrum battery 350 milliamp 2s pack but an awesome looking little rig now we just need to see it in action So I picked one of the hottest, most humid days to come out and test the power wagon, but you know what, I love this spot. And so far the power wagon, it's been a different driving experience with that heavy body and long wheelbase. We got some stuff to talk about. So with the hard body and then adding the overland rack to it, there's a lot of weight up top. So you really have to watch where you're driving because it will roll on you. The oil filled shocks are doing a pretty good job, but yep, it just goes right over. So as I started to say, the oil filled shocks are a noticeable handling improvement, but you still have to watch out for, you know, how much angle you get this truck on before it wants to roll.
So the throttle feels on par with what we're used to seeing in an SCX24, but I gotta tell you, once you get a feel for a brushless system and the consistency, <laughs> you kind of want it. And I think I'm gonna go and put it in this truck. I'll just throw a Spectrum system in here and it has the receiver combo that you can go and just add it into. And there's top speed, which is a slow walking pace. I know the question's gonna come up in the comments, is this the best Axial SCX24? And well, let's talk about it. So first up, I think you're getting a lot of truck for the money here. You're getting the long wheelbase SCX24 platform. You're getting the Proline Super Swamper tires with the impulse wheels. Oil shocks, that's a big factor for a stock out of the box kit. I like these shocks over the spring shocks that are in the other kits. You get a really cool looking body that is licensed. It's custom because it's got the extra doors here. So it's not like a true short cab power wagon, but it still looks absolutely cool with all the accessories on here. And then you got the Overland rack system. So you're getting a lot for it. You got the Spectrum Electronics and when you're driving it in the right conditions, it works really well. It's a lot of fun. So I, I do think this might be the best Axial SCX24 right now. And I do love the Gladiator. That was one of my biggest recommendations for people looking to get into an SCX24 and for, you know, a hard body truck. The Bronco does look super cool, but this is $160 too. And, you know, you're not getting those Proline wheels and tires. You're not getting the oil shocks. You're not getting the long chassis. The, you know, the body is, is pretty sick, but they did a really good job with this truck. I'm actually gonna drive it soft for just a little bit more. And then I have a few mods planned for it, but to switch it back to the the trail action stuff, uh, the longer wheelbase definitely comes in handy when you are traversing different types of terrain. Uh, the steering works fine for the stock servo that's in here. You, know, you just gotta watch your side hilling with it. And I will say that the body is pretty durable. I rolled it a few times and I don't have any deep scratches in the paint yet. So I'm pretty psyched about that. If you gotta add one of these to your collection, I'll have links in the video description. Hit that like and subscribe button while you're there.